Hey, it's Coach Natalie Rudd, the original wise woman strategist, and I teach men and women how to experience victory in every area of their lives. And today we're talking about how to overcome feelings of defeat and failure. Since you are watching this video, I am going to take the leap and assume that you have at some point in your life felt like a failure and you've also felt defeated. And if it wasn't some time long ago, it could be that this is how you are feeling right now. And I want to encourage you that you do not have to succumb to the feelings of defeat and failure. And in this video, I'm going to teach you four strategies that I use when I experience myself feeling like a failure or when I feel like I'm defeated, meaning that what I wanted to happen did not happen or how I wanted to show up at a particular event or project or whatever didn't happen. Whatever I had in my head that I wanted to happen, it didn't. And it may not be because of someone else. It could be because of my own decision or my own choices that I showed up in a way that wasn't the best version of myself. And so here I find myself feeling like a failure, like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to try again. It didn't work. It won't work. And I feel defeated, right? Those feelings are natural. And when I find myself feeling this way, I have to remind myself that I am not the only one that's ever felt defeated, nor am I the only one who's ever felt like a failure. But what I have to know and understand is that defeat and failure are feelings. Say it with me. They're feelings that I can overcome and there are feelings that I can control. I do not have to succumb to defeat and failure, making me feel like I need to quit because that is the definition of failure. When you decide to quit, when you decide to give up, but when you also make the decision to press in and overcome those feelings, you are a success and you can experience victory. So what are the four strategies that I use when I feel this way? Number one, I get focused, get focused. And I get focused on all the right things, not on the things that are making me feel like a, def, uh, you know, a failure and feel defeated, but those things that give me energy, those things that boost my confidence, those things that make me feel like I can conquer the world. So I focus on my vision. You see, we all have a vision for our lives. And when we are getting crystal clear on that vision and we are taking every step to make that vision a reality, we know that Feeling defeated and failure are part of the journey, but because I'm focused, I can press through because my vision is what's driving me. My goals and my aspirations are what are energizing me. So you have to get focused and get focused on the right thing. Those things that encourage you, those things that energize you, those things that elevate your mindset and elevate your words. Focus on that. If you don't have a vision for your life, you'll need to subscribe to this station because I am going to be teaching you how to have a vision for your life because that's part of being victorious. You know what you're creating, you know the direction you're heading, and you know that defeat, failure, mistakes, all of those things are part of the journey, but that you can press through. So number one, get focused. Number two, feed your faith. You have to feed your faith and you have to do this every single day. Now, when I talk about faith, I'm talking about two things. One, for me, I'm talking from the perspective of my faith in God, my faith in my father, Yahweh. I call him by his name, believing that he is the creator of heaven and earth, believing that he is sovereign over everything and that he has given me God-given abilities to make my vision and my dreams a reality. And so I feed my faith every day by getting in the scriptures, journaling, praying. And I also feed my faith by believing in the abilities that he has given me. You have gifts, you have talents, you have things that you wanna share with the world that will make the world a better place. Guess what? Those are your gifts and you have to believe in them. So believe in your creator and believe in yourself. 
right? You've, but you've got to do this every single day. You've got to feed your faith every single day, because if you don't, you will be overcome by feelings of defeat, worry, anxiety. And yes, you may feel like a failure because things are not working out according to how you want it to, according to your timeline, right? But you've got to take a step back and you've got to feed your faith and say, I believe in this dream. I believe in this vision. Yes, obstacles will come. Yes, stumbling blocks will come, but I'm going to keep pressing through because I believe in the creator and I believe in my abilities to make my visions and dreams come true. Right. And one way that I feed my faith, this is a technique that I have been using for many years. And it is especially when I am attempting to achieve a goal, a big goal that I um, have to stretch myself. I'm going beyond my comfort limits. What I will do, I will write down all the scriptures that I want that encourages me in this particular endeavor. And then I'll write down affirmations. And I write these things down in the language of I am, or I am doing, or I am this, or I have this. And I speak that way because I want to remind myself that this is already done. Yes, I have to do the work, but it's already done. So say I am successful. I am um, achieving my goals. I have all of the things that I need in order to be successful. I will write this down and then I'll grab my phone and I will press the voice memo and I will record everything that I have written. Because what I have found is that my voice is a voice of influence for me, right? Because in our heads, we're hearing our voices, right? So I want to control the messages that I am receiving to myself in my own voice. So that recording I listen to every morning and every night. And if I have time in between in the day, I listen to it again. And I do this over and over again until it's in my head and I'm speaking what I've already affirmed in, this, uh, in my affirmation note because I'm changing the words in my head. So I am feeding my faith. And this technique has allowed me to take leaps of faith that I would have never been able to take had I not been intentional about how I feed my faith. So try it. In fact, I would like to know if you do try it and how it works out for you. And so right now, I trust that I've been giving you value in the first two points and how to overcome doubt and how to, oh, excuse me, not doubt, but they are closely related, how to overcome defeat and failure. If so, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and then let's keep moving. Okay, thank you very much. So third strategy that I use in, over, in order to overcome defeat and failure is boost my confidence. That's right. I boost my confidence. So I find things that I can do that will boost my confidence to make me feel like I can do this. I can achieve anything. I can learn anything. And for me, it's actually putting puzzles together, right? I know that may sound like something that a little kid would do, but there are so many puzzles for adults because there's so much to learn from putting a puzzle together. I mean, you gotta have a vision, which is the picture of the puzzle. And then you have a thousand or more pieces that you've gotta figure out where they belong. So you've gotta try this. And if it doesn't work, then you gotta try something else. When you get frustrated, you gotta walk away, but that you gotta come back so that you complete the, the puzzle and complete the vision and make it a reality, right? So every day I work on a puzzle. And when I start putting like five, 10, 15 pieces together, and I start to see the picture coming together, I feel really confident that I can do anything. I feel really confident that, you know what? All it starts is with a vision. And then you take the steps to make it a reality. And when you want to give up, you don't. Mm. Big lesson, huge lesson. So that's how I boost my confidence. So you got to figure out what do you need to do every day to boost your confidence? Is it getting up and exercising or is it writing a page for that book? Or is it going to speak to your boss about a promotion? Or is it something like, oh, I'm really good at baking. Let me bake some cookies. If you do, send some to me. Or it could be that you're a painter, you're a runner, whatever it is that you need to do, boost your confidence. Do it every single day. 
especially if there's something that you want. So like if you want a promotion at your job, write down the scriptures, write down the affirmations, record it on your phone and start listening to it over and over again. And before you know it, you're feeding your faith, you're boosting your confidence and you are taking a leap and you are scheduling that meeting with your boss, right? Okay, so what is the fourth strategy? I saved the best for last. In fact, thank you for watching all the way to this point. I saved the best for last because even if you get focused on the vision you have for your life and you feed your faith and you boost your confidence every day, if you don't do step number four, you are going to feel defeated. And yes, you're going to feel like a, feel like a failure. So number four, you have to face your fears. That's right. You've got to face your fears, whether it's fear of success or fear of failure or fear of whatever. You have to get up and face your fears. You've got to do that thing that makes you afraid. You've got to do that thing that is trying to hold you back and hinder you and be, and be an obstacle. You've got to do it because what I have learned, and this is real talk, the one thing that I'm afraid of is the one thing that I'm supposed to do. I don't know who I'm talking to besides myself. You have to, the one thing that you're afraid of, it's the very thing that's gonna take your life to the next level. It's the very thing that's gonna make you feel successful. It's the very thing that's gonna help you to overcome feelings of defeat and feelings and feelings of failure. You've gotta do it. It's holding you back, trying to control you because it is the one thing that you need that will take you to the next level that will elevate your thinking, elevate your words, elevate your life. You've got to do it. So these are the four strategies that I use. I get focused on that vision that's really going to energize me. And I feed my faith. I feed my faith in my God and his abilities or the abilities that he has given me. And then I boost my confidence to do something that I feel good about, that I know I can win at. And then the fourth thing, I take all of that and I face my fears and I take my leap of faith and I do it anyway. Oh, my friend, you can overcome defeat and you can overcome failure. The call to action, do these four strategies, lean into life and allow yourself to be victorious. I hope that this video has blessed you. Thank you for watching until the end. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up to say that, yes, I like it. And then comment below. Tell me, what do you do to overcome feelings of defeat and to overcome feelings of failure? And did you try the four strategies? If so, did they work for you? I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, be victorious.